The probability that Robin hits the target is 0.6. The probability that John hits the target is 0.3. The probability that Robin hits the target and John does not hit the target. Okay, so we got, got a couple things going on here that we got to pay attention to. Hits the target and John does not hit the target is. Okay. So the events that we're looking for here is let's say the probability that Robin hits the target. So we'll use R for Robin hitting the target and John not hitting the target. So I'll use the negation symbol up here to show that he's not hitting the target. Now again, there could be a link between these two. Like there, there could be some reason why uh, one event influences the other event. Okay? But because there's nothing hinted at it, the problem, you're, the safest assumption is that no, these are independent of each other. And so because they would be independent, we would just multiply them together. So this will be the probability that, that uh, Robin hits the target multiplied by the probability that John misses the target. Now, we are told the probability that Robin hits it. It's 0.6. We are not, however, told the probability that John um, uh, misses the target. Okay? We are told the probability that John hits it. And that's going to be 0.3. So the probability that he misses it will be 1 minus 0.3. Okay? And that's the complement. So probably that he gets it is 0.3. Probably that he misses would be 1 minus 0.3 or 0.7. And when you multiply those together, okay, the probability is 0.42 that Robin hits it and at the same time John doesn't hit it.